we're looking at Zach Vaughn, uh, outside linebacker uh, from Wisconsin. Uh, a lot of people are projecting him inside. I know he took reps there at the Senior Bowl. Uh, I'm just going to read some from some notes that I took while watching him. Zach is a natural pass rusher uh, with good speed uh, to win off the edge, has excellent ball, get off. Uh, he has good natural bend to go along with that burst and quickness. And he has the ability to get flat uh, once he wins the edge and uh, finish the quarterback. Tremendous change of direction uh, to go along with a wide array of pass rush moves. He sets up tackles uh, over reps and throughout the game. He can win inside and outside. Has the ability to use his speed to disarm tackles. Uh, and surprise them with his power and, and is able to bowl them back to the quarterback. Seems to have an innate sense of how and when to change direction to exploit a tackle set. Is excellent in zone coverage. Uh, very aware of the routes around him while at the same time keeping an eye on the quarterback. Um, excellent in his drops. Uh, tends to uh, diagnose plays quickly. Um, picks up on stunts and subtle shifts uh, in the backfield and often finds his way to the ball. Very, very seldom out of place. Good hand placement. Usual, usually able to shoot hands first to engage. Could struggle with length off the edge. Size will be an issue uh, if he is to be a three-down outside linebacker. I think the team um, that takes him may require a coordinator that knows exactly how to use him, uh, whether he is to play inside uh, and then in obvious passing uh, downs come outside. I think he could be an excellent Sam backer in the Ravens system, but he is uh, too light as he, as he is now, and it may take him a year uh, to put on weight. Uh, it remains to, see, to be seen whether he can make the transition to an inside backer uh, and then play sort of that hybrid role. Um, if the Ravens were to take him, I, I think it would be ideal for them to take another pass rusher in the second round. Uh, he is, uh, I think, a very, very exciting pro uh, prospect. This first play we'll watch uh, tells you a fair amount about him as an edge rusher. This is uh, Vaughn at the bottom of our screen. You'll notice he gets off the ball quickly. He's explosive, um, very fast off the edge. Keeps uh, tackles, really, really worried about that, that speed off the edge. Good ball, get off. Does a lot of things here. Uh, swats the hands, bends, uh, upward rip with the inside arm, flattens, trying to get the ball out. You see that? Uh, it looks like he's out of the play. He's driven past it as the quarterback steps up, but he keeps his balance and lunges and uh, brings the quarterback down. So just on this very one rush, you see a lot of uh, – Explosiveness and uh, a lot of things, uh, good good moves strung together as well. This time coming off the uh, right tackle side, you can see him work outside and um, really have an effective bull rush. Uh, I think that's brought about by that speed outside. This guy is working overtime to uh, kick slide out so that he cannot win the edge. And you can see Bond gets hands into him first uh, and he gets under him. Really nice. A bull rush there right back into the quarterback. I think that's as a result uh, of his speed off the edge and this guy being real wary about letting him win the edge. Something that you can see pretty plainly when you watch him is that he, he, he can string uh, different pass rush moves together on the same rush pretty seamlessly, um, pretty naturally. And uh, here you see this nice setup outside and then that plant inside. Instantly, kind of with the left arm, is going to club the, the uh, tackle's outside arm. And then he swims over with his right. And as he does, you'll see him free uh, the outside arm of the tackle. Gets the tackle to kind of dip. And then here's that bend. He gets in on this, this hit that frees the football from the quarterback. Watch it again. This is a rush against Penn State um, off the left tackle side. You can see again that ball get off, uh, the effort to get an arm, arms off of him. This tackle's unable to keep up with his speed. This is good, again, good ball get off. This guy's working overtime to get outside. You can see he has an inability to stay square right there. And here's that bend, an ability to kind of change direction, get flat, 
and lay a hit on the quarterback. Uh, in this particular rush, all he needs is speed to get off and uh, beat the tackle. Just a little dip and bend at the end there. I like what this play uh, shows us as far as his ability to change direction or find the quarterback and change direction on a rush. Uh, you see him stop on a dime there. I think he's sort of setting the quarterback or anticipating where the quarterback's going to be. Uh, looks like he gets a step outside there, kind of hands in the chest of the tackle. He's able to kind of get the edge a little bit. Watch him just stop right on a dime. And I think he sees that plant foot and he knows the ball's either coming out or uh, the quarterback is aware of him is going to start stepping up in the pocket. But just that change of direction there is really impressive. Watch how he just runs the tackle right back by him without really even touching him. Now the ball does come out. But I, I like what that sh shows us, as I said, about him finding the quarterback, anticipating the, the quarterback's movement in the pocket, uh, and, that, and most importantly, how, he, how quickly he changes direction. Watch that again. I want to start this clip sort of in the middle so you can see what it looks like when he gets the edge and he's able to bend uh, and make a straight line to the quarterback. This particular rush, the, uh, the tackle does enough of a job to kind of push him past the quarterback, kind of bend him outside a little bit. But you can see how, how he's able to flex around the corner here. Uh, and if the ball is held a little bit longer, he's going to make this sack. He's going to get in on the quarterback. Uh, you can see he does barely graze the quarterback uh, in any case. Watch it again. So the speed off the edge really keeps tackles on their heels. Um, and then this change of direction. Watch this outside fake here. And how quickly he plants and uh, heads up inside. Uh, again, stringing together, he's going to club the inside arm. Pretty forcefully, you see the tackle get bent over, kind of dip in and take on another block, get off that. Looks like he might get held a little bit. He does get held a lot. You notice if you watch the Nebraska game, two or three times he's held. So at least two sacks he might have had. Nice change of direction. Nice stringing together of moves. And again, that speed off the edge as a threat to set up other pass rush moves. Uh, a lot of times I'll see the edge uh, rusher as a, as a musician, a jazz musician. <laughs> and he's a thinking man's musician or edge rusher here. You watch him work outside. As soon as he sees the, uh, the tackle open up and unable to stay square on him. He's going to punch him right in his outside arm with his inside arm, knocks him off, balance, and then beats him inside. So a bit of improvisation there, I think, just based on the reaction he gets out of the tackle. Here he is as part of a stunt, but uh, uh, working inside, um, but setting it up by working outside. Initially, there's that change of direction. Um, just that speed, again, being the, the key factor in threatening the tackle outside, getting him to open up there a little bit. An overset, and then the hands uh, coming across, uh, clubbing his inside arm off. You can see that stunt frees a man outside, but he, he ends up uh, winning inside and getting there first. This rush is worth watching. This is him off the left edge. Just shows his power. When he gets hands off first, the uh, tackle looks like he's been shot or something here. Really, really jolts him. And I think he does a good job getting under him and rolling his hips. And that's where his power comes from. I, I'd say generally he shows great awareness um, as a rusher, but as an edge guy uh, and, and in coverage. Uh, really unusual to see him out of position not doing his job, uh, these sorts of things. This is him at the bottom of our screen. Watch him wall this uh, number two receiver here outside and then get into his drop in the flat here. Um, he's very comfortable doing that, and I like how he gets hands on that, that inside receiver. I like very much what this shows us about his awareness in a general sense. Watch him as he sees that motion, uh, number seven motion, Watch his attention go that way, realizing he needs to get outside here. Um, and then kind of drop just enough to get under this uh, and keep attending uh, to the flat. I would say he's very close to excellent in zone coverage uh, based on what I've seen. Watch how attentive he is. This is Bond uh, to this inside route here. It's third and six, and he's got a wall and the in-breaking route. He's got to be able to stop any kind of uh, hitch or stop route 
uh, watch our aware where areas of depth in terms of the sticks here and getting under this route and then ultimately how he rallies to the football here uh, in an effort to stop uh, them from getting a first down. We're just highlighting his pr play recognition. He's going to read this as some uh, a potential option uh, on the edge here. He's going to get good hand position on the uh, blocker, watching the backfield, and then he's going to continue to work outside so that he can cover the flat uh, if there's a jump off to that side. Watch it again. This is Bond, Bond outside the right tackle. He's going to drop after faking a, a rush on third down. Uh, drop into this hook and uh, pick off this slant route here. Nice hands too. Uh, and takes it in for a score. Uh, watch it again. Watch the hands. Ball is just outside of him. Uh, he just reads the quarterback there. Nice fake of a rush. Good drop. And takes away the slant route underneath. Look at him in the run game a little bit. You'll see him uh, able to use his eyes in the backfield here and really good hand placement here. Uh, this this uh, tackle is constantly trying to get hands inside and get hands off of him. And he can't. Uh, Bond's able to read the back, cutting it outside, shed, and get in on the tackle. We get to see an insta instance of him setting the edge here, doing a good job to get outside leverage. Uh, I think good awareness of the blocking up front and reading his keys, as well as what's going on in the backfield here. Uh, he works to get outside of the tackle. Good job keeping his, uh, using his hands to, get, to keep the tackle off of him, and then really taking on both of these blocks in a sense, and um, the back has to cut this back inside. Watch it again. You see him one-on-one -on, -one, uh, uh, on the edge having to set the edge here uh, against a bigger guy. That's one of his, uh, I'd say, one of his problems is size or uh, concerns. Uh, he's playing at 235 here. Apparently, he's bulked up to 240, which is still small in our system. You can see him holding up pretty well, even though he doesn't have inside hand position here at the point, and working to find the ball carrier. That's, he's very aware. Uh, working to get outside and set the edge, he does. Uh, he makes the ball carrier cut back, uh, who makes a nice little cut. But to me, he's doing his job here. Uh, gets off the ball very well, able to hold up at the point of attack, able to get outside uh, and force it back in. I don't know his arm length. I don't know if he's got average arms, short arms, but it does appear to me that he struggles with length. That is to say, guys... Uh, who have reach and, the, and the, that it's apparent they have reach as I watch these clips. Watch this guy just reach out and pop him just before he can even get hands into him. Uh, it really stops him in his tracks there. So that could be an issue for him. We see, see the same issue with length kind of uh, rear its head here. Same tackle, bam, stops him. You can see that that, that halts the rush immediately once he gets that hand into him. And I think the, the length plus the size here uh, enables the tackle to really stop him in his tracks. We see, again, a longer tackle, uh, get hands into him first here, control him, and then being a bigger man, really, really uh, throw him around a little bit. 